why momentum strategies work. Regardless of the answer, we know that momentum does work. And it has been working for hundreds of years, backed up by many white papers on the SSRN database. In this video, we will look at a couple of portfolios using momentum but beating the index by leaps and bounds. So stick around to find out how. Welcome back everyone, my name is Alec Casey and thank you for joining me on Stat Oasis channel where we discuss finance, investing and algorithmic trading. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the great content that I post daily during the week. Also, if you are getting any value out of these videos, it would be great if you can share the video, smash the like button as this will signal to Google Algos to push this video to other traders, other investors so they can get the same value that you are getting. We all know that Momentum Indicators is available in, on any trading platforms actually and you can even do it in Excel really easy and you can use it to trade any instrument, any financial instruments uh, on intraday time frame, daily time frame and monthly time frame. But in this video we are going to focus on trading momentum on asset classes. When trading momentum on asset classes, usually we are looking to invest in the asset class that has been going up the most. So if we are comparing 10 asset classes, which one is going the fastest and the highest, we will invest in that. And then we will skip another term and that term could be one month, could be three months, six months, one year. And then we again invest in the highest uh, performing uh, asset class. This kind of investment is called momentum investment. Uh, probably you've heard of uh, tactical asset allocation uh, portfolio. All these portfolios use some kind of momentum, some kind of measure of momentum. And today we will discuss a portfolio that's been written in uh, this book, uh, Muscular Portfolios is one of the great books, just like the dual momentum portfolio book. This actually came after that. Uh, but it uses the same concept, which basically tracks some number of asset classes and it measures momentum on some look back period. And then it invests in the top one, top two, top five, depends on how you want to structure your portfolio. But they all work. Uh, the good thing about these kind of portfolios is they are very robust. They have hundreds of years of data behind them. They have multi-year of out of sample performance so they are really good any way of shape you pick them and they definitely beat any investment in any index fund uh, because they beat them in uh, return and they beat them in drawdown so the portfolio i'm going to discuss from uh, muscular portfolios is the papa bear now papa bear is a version of map faber uh, five asset uh, portfolio and again, Matt Faber is one of those guys that uh, invested a lot in those portfolios and he created many of them. And of course, he has his own hedge fund and uh, actually has also a podcast that you should listen to if you are interested in investment. But really, the Papa Bear is another version of that uh, Meb uh, Faber 5 portfolio. So this one uses 13 assets. And here are the assets. Uh, so in equities, we have six. We have the U.S. Uh, large cap growth stocks and U.S. large cap value stocks. And then the developed market uh, large cap and emerging market large cap. And then finally, small cap 600 value and small cap 600 growth stocks. All these are indexes uh, represented by these ETFs. And then from the hard assets class, we have the commodities and represented by the power shares. Uh, ETF and Vanguard Real Estate ETF and iShares Gold Trust ETF. And then from the fixed income, we have the 30 year Treasury Bond ETF and the Corporate Bonds ETF and non US Corporate and Government Bonds ETF and finally the US Treasury 10 year ETF. So a total of 13 assets, and we will measure the momentum of these assets over three months six months and 12 months so papa bear portfolio is nothing new uh, like i mentioned uh, momentum portfolio has many many flavors this flavor uses again the 13 asset class and it doesn't use absolute momentum and also it uses three time periods so three months six months and 12 months 
they have, this, they have the same weights here. And if you run the test, the problem here, uh, we only have data since January 2016 because of some of the ETFs data are not available in Portfolio Visualize. So in order to get a clear picture, I use my favorite tool for uh, tactical asset allocation portfolios, lazy portfolios, which is Allocate Smartly. And by the way, the link for a free trial is in the description below. And because Allocate Smartly try to replicate this using real life situation. So they use the most liquid ETFs instead of the whatever the book, the white paper ETF used. So as you can see, for example, here we have DVC commodities instead of the PDBC because this one is more liquid. And so therefore you might see some discrepancies in the portfolio uh, performance. In any case, this is the performance compared to a 60-40 model. And we can see that the annualized return is 13.7 with a maximum drawdown of 21%. Asset performance index is 1.44, and this is the allocation, and this is the performance since 1980. So now we have 40 plus years. And if we look at the crisis years, so let me see, this is the dot-com bubble, minus 9.5, and then positive the next year. And then uh, 2008, we have 5.1 and 11.5, so no negative years. And then 2018, minus 4.1. And during COVID, we are minus 0.1%. Of course, these are monthly closes. So these are monthly drawdowns. So far this year, it's up 16.4%. So like I mentioned, Papa Bear is based on Map Faber with GTAA5, which is a global tactical asset allocation that uses five asset classes. And we can see, of course, uh, it enhances that, but with the price is the maximum drawdown. So you can see that here, the asset performance index, which, which takes that uh, drawdown in, into the equation, it's 1.44 here, and here it's 1.85 because the drawdown here is less, 11.4 compared to 21. And also, the drawdown is less uh, in, in, in the amount of time it's spent underwater. So this is 31 months, and Papa Bear is 40 months. Now also, the other good thing in uh, Allocate Smartly is we can see the alternative trading date. So this assumes you're trading at the end of the month, but we can see here that if I sort by the maximum, so we can see the seventh day performs the best, performs 12.7% uh, compound uh, annual growth rate and 2.03 also performance index. And the 21st of the month, which is usually the end of the month, is 12.2 and 1.48. But like I mentioned, they are, these uh, portfolios are robust, and as you can see, any day of the month, they produce positive returns. Not only positive, but they beat the index by a lot. Remember the index, this is the, since uh, 1990, and so the index is uh, covering around 6.8% compound annual growth rate and a 50 plus percent drawdown. Uh, so this is a huge improvement. And here's the correlation metrics for Papa Bear with the other portfolios in asset uh, allocation. And I just want to mention that, uh, look at this. While it's based on map favor GTA A5, it's still only 0.74 uh, correlated. And of course, uh, all these tactical asset allocation portfolios are highly correlated. But the difference over long period is uh, significant. So, for example, if we take MIP paper, which is better in terms of uh, return to drawdown ratio, so it ret it's returning 9.6. And if I plug this in, this is 9.6 over 20 periods, starting with $10,000. Uh, we expect to be at around $60,000 in 20 years. But if we take the Papa Bear, and if I take uh, the 21st, which is 12.2, so this is not the best one. Uh, while the difference is small, it's less than 
But you can see we make uh, 30 more thousand dollars than the original strike. And that is actually what we are looking for. We are looking for even 1% more. That's going to affect our portfolio a lot in 20 years in the future. You need to be invested in tactical asset allocation portfolios, but you also need to pick one that suits you, that suits your needs in terms of return and a drawdown, how long the drawdown is lasting and so on and so forth. Of course, if you're looking for the highest return, then dual momentum is still one of the best portfolios out there, especially now with many years of out of sample. And of course, it's still backed by the same research that momentum does work. Dual momentum uh, performs around 17. And if you want to plug that in, so look at this now at 17. Now we go from $66,000 to $231,000. While we don't double our percentage return, but over 20 years, we more than triple the actual return on investment. And that's the magic of compound interest over long term. Of course, if you have any questions, any comments, please do so below the video as this channel is all about educating you how to build and secure your financial futures. And of course, the portfolio, the tactical asset allocation portfolio is a big part of planning your financial future. Of course, if you want to take this further and be part of my inner circle, then you are most welcome to join our Discord server through the link below. And as always, good luck with your trading, good luck with your investing, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.